Hello all, so in this video we're going to talk about how to put a watermark on your LaTeX documents. Now this particular method is going to load the watermark behind all of the elements, so behind all your text and behind all your pictures. So the first thing we're going to do is come to your preamble and we're going to utilise the package draft watermark, all one word. Now if I do recompile that it will bring in a default watermark, in fact you might just be able to see it hidden behind the text there and it's called draft, but I want to customise this. So the first thing I'm going to do is come after I've loaded the package but still in my preamble and I'm going to utilise the command set watermark text. Notice it's camel case, in other words each word is capitalised and then in the curly braces that's what I want my watermark to be. So in this case you can see it comes in with my watermark. I want to clearly make it a little bit bigger so I can go to set watermark scale and I want to make this four times bigger. So now if I zoom out then you can see it comes in covering my page. I can still do further customizations. for example I might want to change the angle so set watermark angle and I might want to change it to 30 degrees by default is 45 and you can see the angle changes. I may also want to change the colour as well so again set watermark colour then I want to change it to red Notice you can utilise the X colour package. So if you don't want it a solid red, you can put some shading in with white. So here I'm just going to use percentages, which means it's 50% red mixed with white. So as a result, it's going to come in slightly less opaque. But I can also change the positioning as well. So if I change the horizontal centre and the vertical centre in terms of the paper width and paper height respectively, then I can change the positioning as well. Notice as well it's coming in on every single page. If I just want it on the first page, I come to where I've installed the package, put some square brackets and use the option first page only and then as a result it will only come in on the first page and not on the, any other page in my document.